Welcome back to the Empowered Life channel. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you content that's empowering, encouraging and inspiring. Please hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any new videos that I upload and please hit the thumbs up if you like the content that I share. Also share these videos with anybody that you feel needs a dose of the empowered life. So in today's video I wanted to talk to you about never letting a job define you or your identity. This is something I feel that is really important. Millions of workers all over the world go through this. And in extreme cases, we've seen in news stories where a person gets made redundant or gets fired from a job, it can cause them to do really extreme things like take their own life or have rage against other people. So there are a couple ways that I identified how a job can define you. In my experiences of being in traditional employment, working for employees in a long-term contract, I found that in certain employments, outside of your job title, you weren't allowed to do anything. So even though I put myself forward, I wanted to showcase my skills, my talents, tell people about my experiences because I believed in some way they could benefit the company that I was working for. Because of my job title, that was a hindering block for me to do that. I also found that when I wanted to go forward for training courses or development courses that would help me to improve personally and professionally, because I didn't have the right job title, these opportunities were off limits to me. Another thing that I found in letting a job define me was that it affected how I viewed myself. People having a certain perception of me because I was in that role, I allowed that to personally affect me. But my view of self and identity actually comes from within. I have seen this in many ex-colleagues that I have worked with where anything over typically five years, if they've been in a company, they have allowed the job to define them. They have allowed it to define their life and their view of life as well. They don't feel that apart from the job that they're in, that outside of that, there would be any other prospects. And that is sad. It is very easy to see how the life lines can become blurred between your identity and your job role. Especially if you haven't got anything outside that is keeping you focused to say actually at the end of the day this is just a job, I work here, I do what I can here, I put down this work at the end of the day and I get on with my life. If you don't have that it can be very very hard to not let a job define you and it will have an impact on how you view yourself. When you become so immersed in a job, and I had this experience where I really wanted to be a success, I really wanted to prove that I had what it takes. Because I was so focused on that at a certain time, and I immersed myself into trying to be the best that they wanted, into jumping through their company hoops, you know, making sure I got good marks in my appraisals, doing my work to excellence. And when I saw that actually it produced very few results, especially the results that I wanted, that I thought were about being a success, I felt really discouraged and disheartened by it. And it caused me to lose focus on myself and focus on the things that I wanted to do. I was looking for that validation of success through my employer. And it was again, nothing to do with anything that came from within me. Your identity does not come from a job role. Your identity does not come from a job title or your employer. Your identity comes from something outside of that. That is just something you do. I believe identity comes from a heavenly father, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe he is the one that gives us our sense of purpose and our sense of calling. Your identity is not in what other people say about you. And as I shared, not in your job role or your title, your identity comes from within. And it is important that you start to do things to find that out because that is what is going to keep you centered. That is what's going to help you not to be defined by your job role. The second thing is keeping things in perspective. A job is a job at the end of the day. One of the things that I found with a lot of people, they don't just treat it like a job. And I'm not saying that it's not important to do a job to the best of your ability. Of course it is. Everything you do should be done with excellence. 
but it's about keeping it in perspective if this job was not here tomorrow what would you do i would encourage you to pursue hobbies and interests that you like to do what are the things you like to do start to look at them again and i know because of being in a paid job sometimes the job can be demanding can be stressful can take up a lot of time i know that lines can become blurred because people are taking work at home at night times or in the evenings uh, or weekends but it is important that you have that time to do the things that you love to do even if you're not in a job where you're pursuing your passions or pursuing things that you really want you to do in the first place if you want try and find those things outside of your job role but in whatever you do in terms of your hobbies and interests it has to be something that is enjoyable to you something that is away from your paid job that you do every single day there is a saying that goes work to live not live to work this is so important you are working to provide for your family hopefully you are in a job that you to half like or you enjoy to some extent if not then it might be time to start to reevaluate what you are doing in that job if everything is just to pay the bills and just for a paycheck i think that actually you're missing the mark and that is not to say that it's not important to earn money it's not important to um, satisfy your financial commitments and provide for your families that's not what i'm saying but if you are going to work i believe you should be able to enjoy what you do nobody should be living to work that is not what the purpose of life is about and it's important that you don't let these things define you so that is just what i wanted to touch upon in this video i hope that you found it helpful remember don't let a job define you